If I was to start content creation in 2024, this year, and make it my full-time job, what would I do? So aspiring creators like you can bring home the bacon. Let's go! I'm Chris, a designer and founder of UX Playbook. I've been a full-time content creator since May 2022, and recently just passed 100K in earnings. And in this video, I've partnered with ConvertKit to break down the state of the creator economy in 2024. Read the full report in the description. They interviewed over 1,000 creators to give us some juicy insights about the landscape of creators in 2024. Quick note, even though I've partnered with ConvertKit on this video, these are my insights and they're not telling me what to say here. There are four main things I want to talk about. Type of creators, type of content, how they make money, and if I was to start today as a creator, where would I start? Stick around for that. Let's start with type of creators. The good news here, Gen Z, most of you likely watching now, you're known as the side hustle generation and 25 of full-time creators are now Gen Z. That's up from 3% last year. There's a positive trend if you're thinking about starting today. However, 80% of Gen Z are only earning under $10,000 in their creator business. Do you wanna know what age group earns the most money being a creator? It's millennials, 27 to 42 year olds. 23% of them earn over 100K. I fall into this age group, lucky me. But what type of creators are the most popular? Here are the 10 most common types of creators. You have your entrepreneur, blogger, coach, educator, writer, author, artist, marketer, YouTuber, designer. So now we understand the landscape, who makes the most money by age, what type of creators they are, let's talk about the type of content they're making to monetize. Entrepreneur creators are the most common, 23%. So it's not surprising they're making content like business and entrepreneurship, personal development, but this type of content was quite surprising. Health and wellness. That may be due to the bloggers or coach type of creators that are also extremely popular. But this caught me off guard when digging into the research. Creators are less likely to make short form videos to drive their business in 2023. Short form videos were cut in half to just 23% of creators making this type of content. It's crazy because I've definitely seen some more short form stuff out there. But instead, what they're doing is relying on email and newsletters. 27% of creators see the highest engagement with Instagram being a distant second with just 15%. Content they produce are things like emails and newsletter, that's 58%, article, blog posts, books, that's 51%, and finally, educational courses, 30%. I just wanna pat myself on the back here quickly because this week I'll be sending out my 100th newsletter issue. Woo! -hoo! And I'm not alone here, 27% of creators are planning on creating a newsletter in 2024. Okay, 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 okay. Enough, we spoke about the types of creators, the types of content, but you might be thinking, Chris, how the hell do these guys actually make money? So let's talk about money. 30% of creators make under $10,000 a year, while 16% make over $100,000. This is up from 12% the previous year. So we can see there's an interesting trend of creators earning a living from content. And what's the top earning creator type? Out of all of the creators we spoke about, can you guess? It's YouTuber, designers, and educators. What, is that me? Also, why don't I make as much money as them? Maybe I should go harder on YouTube this year. Anyways, 55% of creators make money in the first year. So there's hope for you guys thinking about starting today. But what if you wanted to go full time? All in on this content game. Majority are just not there yet, 50%. However, one to three years seems to be the most popular answer in becoming a full time content creator. That's how long it will take you. And the easiest way to monetize as a content creator? 24% of creators said it's digital products. With a close second, just 20%, saying professional services things like coaching or freelancing, and that's also the most loved income stream. Talking about income streams, 49% of creators said they'll be adding to their income stream this year. So we know having multiple income streams is a priority for these folks. Oof, that's a lot of information. 
Here's my overall recommendation on how you, as an aspiring creator, should make money in 2024. Number one, be in one of these niches, but double down on something really specific. If you decide to be a designer, start making videos on YouTube and talk about your entrepreneurship journey. You have to carve out something different, but also leverage what's working. Build on one platform first and don't sleep on emails and newsletters to keep your audience engaged. Shorts are not actually that important. Instead, focus on growing your email list. Number two, it's definitely possible to start earning money right away as a content creator. And you should start with professional services. If you're a designer, start freelancing immediately while you create content around it. Then think about working on digital products in your downtime. Hands down the easiest to scale because it's a one-time effort up front with very little marginal cost to sell the damn thing, unlike selling your time like freelancing. Once you have regular clients and digital product sales, work on another revenue stream. You can try brand sponsorship as your audience grows. Reach out to these brands directly. Affiliate marketing to promote products that you actually love, subscription and paid membership to the folks on your newsletter, you could even think about physical products like your own merch. Number three, know that this is a long game. Even though you can make money in your first year, know that it'll be likely under $10,000 as a creator. And it might be one to three years before you can actually have this content thing as your full time job. So don't quit yet. For context, before I started content creating, let's call that year zero, my digital products did around $4,000 in sales. This gave me the confidence to say, fine, I'll be a content creator. Then in my first year, I did $42,000 in sales. That's an 883% growth year over year. This was purely on digital products. Then in year two, I was reaching out to brands and finished the year with 69,000. And that's a 65% growth year over year. But was that enough to replace my head of design job full time? No. And am I confident I can replace my old salary? Absolutely. So people, it's how long you are in the game. You only fail when you quit. Real talk. And if you want to dive into more juicy numbers that can help you plan how you monetize your content, check out ConvertKit's The State of the Creator Economy 2024 report. Link in the description. Thanks ConvertKit for sponsoring. And until next time, hit the big red button somewhere. Bye.